There's been a lot of talk in recent years about emissions and their impact on the environment. But in true mainland style, the South Island is leading the way in doing something about it. Much of Dunedin's steam and hot water supply for local industry was provided by the Dunedin Energy Centre, located in the CBD. The 30-year-old coal-fired plant was ageing and in need of a serious upgrade to continue to cater for customers' needs and to reduce the dangerous levels of dust emissions. About 10 years ago, Energy for Industry Limited purchased the centre from the then Otago District Health Board. Since then, EFI have upgraded the plant, including installing a bag house. This has reduced particulate emissions and dust by 93%, making a big improvement to the air quality in Dunedin's CBD. The coal supply that we had was, uh, we were notified by Solar Energy that, that that mine would shut down. So we started looking around at alternatives. EFI at the same time was also driving um, potentially green options. So that time, part of the lead up to that was um, trialling wood fuels with coal mixtures, woods by themselves, various different woods. Till today we find ourselves now with one boiler, 100% uh, uh, renewable energy in the form of wood chips. So hopefully in the near future, we'll probably produce double the production of steam on that one wood boiler. EFI also took over the commercial supply contracts of other customers connected to the heat supply network. This included supplying steam and hot water to Cadbury Confectionery Limited, ALSCO, University of Otago, and a number of smaller business customers. Uh, ALSCO is a commercial laundry and textile rental company. We uh, launder approximately 50 to 60 tonnes of textiles every week, and uh, as you can imagine, that uses an awful lot of steam. Wherever possible, ALSCO seeks to reduce its carbon footprint. We were thrilled when EFI said they were going to change to a, a, a co-firing because uh, this fits perfectly with what we're trying to achieve. Uh, the transition to the co-firing was completely seamless. We wouldn't have known had we not been told. When I looked into firing different fuels to heat the campus, um, I was looked at quite awkwardly since um, wood was not considered um, a heating source for commercial buildings. It's a sustainable uh, growing, regrowing fuel and we've got plenty of it in the country. Uh, when supplies fuel that is um, of a very good quality, they supply a complicated um, supply points and um, manage that appropriately. EFI are working to provide a pathway to customers to move to renewable energy options. And part of this has been the introduction of wood fuel. EFI have created Wood Energy New Zealand to provide a natural, sustainable and cost-effective fuel. Rather than taking supply away from the timber and pulp and paper industries, Wood Energy New Zealand uses seasoned wood chips sourced from forest residues. This material we've got here is billet wood which we buy off um, forestry companies. It's material that's often left lying around in the forest um, and um, they wouldn't necessarily have markets for it, but we buy it, when it comes in we stack it with a contractor and we leave it till we get the moisture content down. One of the things that we do, which is different to most other companies, is we buy uh, quite big volumes, we try and have about 12 months material in front of us so that we can ensure a reliable supply for our customers. As well as providing a clean burning fuel, this helps to reduce our landfills. As part of the upgrade program, 25% of Dunedin Energy Centre's fuel is now biomass, with plans to increase this over time. Well, the Dunedin Energy Centre itself is, is an old facility, uh, and so we've, for the last 10 years, nurtured it along. And so it's moving to a, a different sort of scenario where it's going to deal with multiple fuels. It's had the beauty of running on a low-cost coal for many years, and those coal costs are increasing. So we're giving, putting more optionality into that. The energy markets are getting more complex. Uh, the emission standards are getting more, more, more sort of tight. Um, and, and also businesses are more and more aware of their emissions. So we come in as a partner who has a number of different skills uh, to deal with emissions, but also to, to try and find some advantages in using their own waste. Well, wet energies are, uh, uh, in New Zealand, it's actually a quite a large part of New Zealand's economy, but it's hidden away in pulp mills and paper mills. So, But we can see it becoming mainstream, and so we've decided to invest, uh, go and partner with foresters, 
go and put the logistics in place and, and so that we can deliver a product that matches the reliability and quality of what they might be used to getting and take that, just de-risk that for them so they can make an investment decision. Dunedin Energy Centre customers also benefit from EFI's accreditation to the CMARS Emissions Measurement and Reduction Scheme, where EFI measures and manages year-on-year -year emission intensity targets. CMARS is all about measuring your carbon footprint and then doing whatever you can to reduce it. CMARS is now recognised by the, something called the Carbon Disclosure Project, which is an, a global, um, it's one of only 17 schemes that's globally recognised to measure your carbon footprint. In. EFI reduced their footprint last year by 14% in their operations. And because carbon is a leading indicator of the efficiency of a business, they're actually saving money because they're doing this. So it's a win-win for the environment and for the business. CMAS also provides um, the ability to stand on your credentials overseas. So EFI's customers who are now using um, a, a, a renewable source for some of their fuel and some of their heating, they can, if, should they go through a certification process, they can start to differentiate themselves on the global stage. So if you're selling a product into the UK and you have a CMARS or a Carbon Zero certified product, um, the people in the UK know that the rigour that you've gone through and that you can actually stand on that credibility. With companies like Meridian, we've got other companies, Westpac, Flight Centre, some really large New Zealand corporates are really getting behind this and they can see that this makes sense because it's good for business and it's good for the environment. Energy for Industry Limited has been working with New Zealand industry for over 10 years, helping to reduce energy use, lower operating costs and contribute to a cleaner energy future. An exciting development is the new energy centre at Washdyke, which began supplying steam in early December 2011. Owned and operated by EFI, it now provides a number of local businesses with a very cost-effective and reliable source of heat and steam for their manufacturing and processing needs. The energy centre is helping customers reduce operating costs and reduce emissions while ensuring they have a reliable steam supply. Wash Dyke is something we see as our future. Uh, it's, a, it's a new sort of a development where we uh, own and operate from our own site and we supply multiple customers uh, from that single site. We had displaced uh, four coal-fired boilers. These were four older uh, coal-fired boilers, uh, inefficient uh, and, uh, and each struggling to, uh, to meet their resource consents. Um, so we've put in a, a more modern plant, a more efficient plant, a uh, plant with um, uh, filtration uh, bag houses uh, to clean up uh, the uh, particulate emissions. And we're providing steam uh, now to um, uh, DB mainland breweries and uh, to New Zealand light leathers. So there's plenty of opportunity for, for businesses to locate to the Wash Dyke area. Uh, in addition to that, there's also other processes in the neighbourhood who are within range of a steam pipe from us as well. Some of the major benefits of dealing with EFI is that uh, firstly if you're a, um, an existing uh, boiler operator uh, you don't need to worry any more about uh, meeting your resource consent, you don't have to worry about investing new capital in your ageing plant, um, we'll just run you a steam line and, uh, and, and give you steam at the gate. Um, secondly if, if you're a, a new processor coming to site you don't have to worry about uh, capital investment, um, you don't have to worry about seeking a resource consent, again we'll run you a pipeline and, and give give you steam and other utilities to your gate. And as we move forward with that, we'd probably be able to also move into things like water, wastewater, air, all the other services. So if we get it rolling and, we, and the build momentum, then it'll grow from there. We're the Economic Development Agency for the district, so we cover both the business side of things and tourism, and our role is to attract businesses, attract visitors, and really help to grow the economy. Uh, well, the main area for our commercial businesses to operate, especially processing and manufacturing, is in Washdyke. So having an energy centre established there um, enables new businesses and existing businesses to source energy at a very, very competitive rate and also enables them to um, look at their development from a different perspective in the fact that they don't need to make so much capital investment. The Dunedin Energy Centre and the Washdyke Energy Cluster are great examples of how small incremental changes can make a big difference over time. EFI believes that if most New Zealand businesses change just 20% of their energy supply needs to biomass or other renewable fuel alternatives, New Zealand would be better prepared for what may be a very different energy future.